Hi guys, it's Terry with the Covered Chipboard, and I'm back with our miniature um, haunted house project. And um, I've got some supplies here. We're down to where we need to start thinking about lighting our, our house. And um, I wanted to talk about a couple other things too, but for right now, we're gonna just do this video on the lighting and then I'll have other videos in this post about the other areas we're gonna work on. Um, I've written on the post, there are several different ways you can light your house. You could use tea lights and just place them around inside. My house isn't put together, so let me see. Just place it around on the different floors. You'd have to have, because there's a floor inside, you would have to place one on, sets of them on each floor. Um, if you're going to use that or uh, an LED string, set of string lights that run off of a battery, uh, same thing, just drop it in the floors and let it sit in there. You would need to go ahead and keep the front unattached so that you can place it back and forth um, or take it on and put it off. Blah, I can't talk today. Put it on or take it off. Sorry about that. Um, so that you can change the batteries because you will have to change batteries a lot. In my experience, the tea lights don't last for very long uh, periods of time. So there is that to contend with. I don't use either one of those because of that reason. I hate changing batteries. Now with this uh, lighting system that I use, I use this for all my miniature projects. It's very, very simple to use. You don't have to have any special tools. Um, you need these supplies that I'm looking at or that you can see right here and either a heat gun or a blow dryer. And that's all the tools that you need. Uh, there it's very very simple you have some options these all come from model train software I have the link below this video and I have also included a link with several to several videos that they've made on their site telling you about the different options and products that they sell um, I can link to um, these specific products that I'm using um, and I might do that if you have any questions, you can always contact me. But what I have are the three volt LED lights and they are the cool white three millimeter and with the 14 inch wires. Um, you have options when you order these online that you can choose and I think it's a eight inch or a 14 inch wire. I pay extra to get the longer wires. Uh, and I, it, the more you buy, the cheaper they are. They give you a discount after so many. I think it's five and 10 are the discount levels. But they're just little simple lights and uh, they've got two wires coming out of them, a black and a red. I'll show you the light real quick. Get one out of here. I just keep these on stock all the time or on hand. Uh, okay, there you can see the light. It's just a little round light. It's a black wire and a red wire coming out. So, you can hook these. They have an option where you can hook it to a battery pack. There's a round little chip battery that you can use. Uh, or you can add another different type of battery that holds two AA batteries, I think it is. There again, you're dealing with batteries. I don't like to deal with batteries. Now, granted, those will last a little bit longer than the tea lights or the, the other one, but I don't want to mess with batteries. So what I use is a DC adapter for three volt lights. It comes in a box like this. It's $12. If you get it with a switch, it's $14, and you have that option. And I normally buy it with a switch. This one was one that didn't come with it, and the switch is this part. That just pulls off. This is the one with the switch, so this would be on here. And it may come with the other way, with this on the side, I'm not sure, but that just plugs in. This is what they're calling the switch. It's an on-off switch. So what you would do, and then this just plugs into the wall. So what you would do is you would run all your wiring and have it come out in one spot at the back of the house. Then you take all of your light wires, put all the blacks together, all the reds together, and 
it doesn't matter how many you have. Once you have these together, they sell this uh, tubing. It's a, called a shrink tube. You cut off just about an inch of the shrink tube. They make it in small and large, I think it is. I generally will buy both because if you only have two wires, two or three wires, then the small is good enough. If you have more than two or three, you probably ought to use one of the larger ones. But you take these, and where there's a, um, let's see if I can get it where you can see this really good. There's, uh, at the end of these black and red wires, there's some wire that doesn't have any uh, coating on it. So you take all of those points and you twist them together. Um, actually, you take these black wire from the here from the switch first. You run, drop your sh shrink tube onto it. Then you take all of your black ones, twist them together really good. Take all your red ones, twist all your red ones together really good. Then you pull the shrink tube back up and you heat it with uh, the heat gun or blow dryer until it shrinks up and molds itself around your group of wiring. And that's all there is to it. Then you can straighten, because these will be like this. Then you can just straighten it back out and they're fine. And then you just plug this into the wall. You can use the switch to turn it on and off so you don't have to unplug and plug this back in. They uh, do not burn hot. You can leave them on all the time for hours on end, for days and days. They don't get hot. There's no chance of a fire with them at all. And um, I think these wires run like three dollars I was checking here earlier they're 235 for the three millimeter you can get them in cool white warm white and in a bunch of colors if you wanted they even have them in orange so you might think about getting orange ones for a haunted house that might be kind of cool um, I don't know if the colors change no still 235 so it's based on the light size so I get the three millimeter and I normally like the cool white um, the ends of these can be, you could use like alcohol ink and color them if you wanted to. Uh, so you could just get cool white and then if you wanted a warmer one, color it somehow with alcohol ink or something that will, uh, make it a color. And I get the 14 inch and the, you can get them in flashing or solid and I buy the solid. And for those, they're 235 a light. If you get five or more, they're two ten a light, and if you buy ten or more, they're two dollars a light. So it's fairly inexpensive. And for this project, I'm going to use probably just one, two, three, four, probably just four lights. Uh, I'll try it if that's not enough before I get done. I might want to put one on each uh, one on each side here, so that would be two, four, six, seven total. So we'll just have to see when I go to put it together how many I wind up using. So that's pretty much the basics for the wiring. Uh, again, I think it's a fairly inexpensive thing. Uh, you don't have to ever worry about relighting your project again. They last for years and um, it's very easy to use and easy to turn on and off as needed. So that is the... Uh, the lighting. Here's the box for the adapter that I got. And again, I'll link all of this so it'll take you directly to the product that I'm buying or that I'm using if you want to go this route. And in order to use this, we're going to have to put some holes in our uh, structure on the floors for the wires to feed through. But I'll show you that in another video. So that's my little discussion about wiring. I also, on the post, have a, um, a link to, uh, it says mini lighting system. And that is a previous post I did about this type of wiring and it gives a whole bunch more information. So you might wanna read that before you decide upon your wiring. But we do, at this stage, you do kinda need to go ahead and do your wiring before you start finishing the outside of the house. So you might want to go ahead and do that. If you haven't done your windows, I started on my windows. I don't know if you can see the yellow in here, but this was uh, plastic. 
You can use any kind of a, acrylic, plastic, uh, thin plastic is all you need. I found some old folders that I had from Totally Tiffany, and I cut just my squares out of that. Since I'm not finishing the inside, I don't need to use the windows that are cut to, to fit in, you know, the specific shape. So, um, I've colored them with alcohol ink. I show you how to do that on a previous post. I think it was part two. Uh, and then I just have attached them inside the box. I did one long sheet for this front section. And then there's smaller ones on the side. And I've just used, used double-sided tape to attach them. So that when my light shows through, I don't know. I don't really have a little light in here I could show you. But if you can, I don't know if you can see from, let me try. Well, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's kind of what it'll look like inside. Another thing to mention, if you do use tea lights or you use uh, the fairy lights, you will probably see the light bulbs inside uh, through the windows. So expect that. With this type of system, you're just going to get a soft glow throughout all, and you will probably not even see the bulb itself shining through the window. So that's another reason why I like this, because it doesn't really show through like uh, a strand of LEDs or tea lights would. So that's it for here. Um, oh, I did link on this post also. These are the um, uh, shingles that we're going to be using for the roof. And I have a Cricut, I have these set up as a cut file in Cricut. I also have a cut file for the siding strips that we're gonna use. And uh, that's gonna take you a little while to do, but it's it's nice and relaxing. You can sit and do it, you know, while you're watching TV or something. So that's it for this video, and I'll be back with another one shortly. Thanks, bye.